what is up guys welcome back and yes i did get my breakfast already and being you know halfway and being a cheaper branch but it's actually the same length unfortunately it's the same length it actually said that it used to be shorter but it is the same length i'm pretty sure it's the same length and it, i'm pretty sure also that it said it was shorter but that's okay maybe they meant shorter as in the, there isn't the extra branch on top but no one ever does that to be honest i mean only people that like manage to get an insane amount of sigils can actually do that but yeah actually moving forward we have the the spells on each and every one of them we don't have the spells on the on the hunters yet but we have the spells on the sorcerer and the divine sage being the warrior and fey being the sorcerer now uh, abraxas has some pretty good spells as well and that's why it sucks man because you know you're sort of forced to do abraxas his spells are way way too strong and I, don't, I don't get this why are these at like huge huge pro like 4500 that is ridiculous yeah uh, uh, i don't think this is good to be honest but yeah let's talk about their stats uh to be quite frank with you uh, let's start with um let's start with the braxis as i have him right here let's start with the braxis uh, he's obviously my last dragon because yeah i just got him he's level two and um we can actually look at his his, his spells so he's, he starts off with level one with both malefic breath and superheated breath now malefic breath what this does is it actually uh, delivers poisonous grooms on targeted buildings and it what this does is it cuts down and sucks their health in time now i don't know precisely how much but should inflict quite a lot depending on the level of the dragon and this is how it works we can see it together it's right here you can just tap it and you can see it's it's got that green poison looking thing coming out as when your dragon is poisoned now the superheated breath is actually pretty cool as well and we know this from me in the sapphire tier that's first mythic that was released and it actually increases for three seconds your flamethrower by 50 percent so that's pretty good as well now coming to the next fire shield is sort of like heat shield from scar and it is the exact same the only difference is that scar looking at it so that was 60 percent and gave you 10 percent health back now let's look at scar because i'm very interested about this reduces incoming damage and instantly heals for a small amount it's stuck by a spitfire turret the solar energy bar will charge by 25 percent okay it's sort of different but it's kind of like the same. Okay, let's move on. Sacrifice. Dragon takes damage and gains rage immediately. Now, that's pretty good as well because it's literally rage. It's free rage whenever, wherever. And stats, we're actually looking at 18.649 million at level 45. Yes, it is a max level 45. He evolves at level 7. He evolves at level 13. He then evolves into platinum at level 21. He then evolves into sapphire at level 29. And he then evolves to garnet at level 36. I don't know when he evolves to emerald to be quite honest with you it, it you know it doesn't even say it in the stats because you know apparently you can't evolve until the emerald tier is released and that's later this year I, I don't know when exactly but it'll be pretty soon yeah as i said he starts off with malefic breath superheated breath at level one malefic breath is rage cost of one it's a blue spell superheated breath has a rage cost of two and it's a white spell then uh, he unlocks a fire shield at level 10 or heat shield at level 10 and that's a blue spell and that's also got a rage cost of two and then he has sacrifice white spell uh, he unlocks at level 13 and that doesn't have any rage cost now uh in terms of hp it, they actually are the ones that have the most as they are warriors they have roughly around 10 million worth of xp without uh runes and without research in terms of damage per second it's the ones you know warriors are the ones that have the lowest as it is a flamethrower attack it would be way op if flamethrower would have the same stats in damage per second as a sorcerer or as a hunter but the actual damage per second is around 89k less than a quarter it's sort of like a quarter of what the actual sorcerer and hunter have let's move on to the sorcerer so you actually have uh, some sort of idea now the sorcerer yeah i can put a picture up dude i swear i don't i really don't know what to say about this guy like he's let's say he's, he's unique that's sort of what you would say to you know when like people show you like their babies and they're born and they're sort of ugly but you don't want to tell them that because it, it makes them feel bad and you just say it's unique sort of what you say this guy yeah he's unique dude oh my god what the hell were they thinking man when they came up with this guy ah oh, he reminds me of a clown big time he really reminds me of a clown and i hate clowns so uh same level level 45 he's gonna have the same stats 18.649 million with no research and no nothing same levels of evolution level 7 into green uh, level 13 into gold uh, level 21 into platinum level 29 into sapphire and level 36 into uh, garnet now we don't know when it's gonna get into uh, emerald we don't know that yet but i'm guessing probably around their, their 40s if not later 
But the same, the, th the difference about the Sorcerer is that his damage per second is actually 375k, which is compared to the 89k of the Warrior. Although, yeah, the swipe attack is very slow. Now, the health of this guy is 7.6 million. It's not 10 million, uh, which is also very different. And its spells are Chaos, which is like Tengu. It's, it's a pretty good spell. And yes, Havoc does work on Chaos. Uh, just so you guys know, Havoc does work. The only difference between Havoc and Chaos is the rage difference. Uh, Havoc is worth 3, Chaos is worth 2. It's a blue spell, it unlocks a level 1, so he comes with it. Invincibility Shield is another blue spell that he has, rage costs 2, and he also comes with it a level 1. And then he has Ice Shock, which is pretty famous. It was actually brought by a pretty legendary dragon, actually mythic, called Phasmos. Now, Phasmos uh, came up with this and he actually carries it as well. So, Faye carries Ice Shock, White Spell, Rage Cost 0 and penetrates any Mage Tower, unlocks a level 10 and the passive skill he has is uh, actually unlocked a level 13 and that's Lightning Resist. Now, they're not bad, it's the Ice Shock really that makes him look uh, pretty good because uh, that Ice Shock is actually pretty pretty strong. But apart from that, it's not like he has great spells. I think Abraxas has great spell and I think this next guy has great spell. Let's move on to Sage. So I can put a picture up as well. Here he is. He, 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 uh, come on. L like, look. Yeah? Look at this guy. And look at Sage. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's like they gave Turan a fucking joint. And they said, alright, mate, just go on. And, like, trees started growing on his horns and on his feet. And like on his neck as well but anyway let's move on now same things uh he's got actually the same stats in damage per second uh he's actually got the exact same stats as abraxas uh, 18.649 million 89,000 damage per second and roughly 10 million health uh, with no research and no nothing he evolves at the same levels as well uh, level 7 into green level 13 into gold level 21 into platinum level 29 into sapphire and level 36 into garnet now we still don't know we still don't know emerald now the abilities are explosive shield like taran white uh, rage cost two and he comes with it at level one and then he has thunderstorm which is sort of like it's a sorcerer spell but you know it, it, we'll take it we'll take it as we we all, I think we all love Thunderstorm. And he comes with it also, and it's a rage cost of two. And then he has Super Rejuvenate. Not Rejuvenate, but Super Rejuvenate. Now, Super Rejuvenate restores Dragon health over time, and he gives him 20% of health in three seconds. Now, I actually have to look up how much the normal standard Rejuvenate actually delivers. Now, we can actually do that right now. and We can swap one out with a guy that has Rejuvenate. Now, I think he has Rejuvenate, so we can definitely see how that compares. Now, Rejuvenate restores Dragon Health over time. Yeah, but how much? Do we know? No, apparently not. So we can get rid of you now. Don't need you anymore. Now, let's see how much does Rejuvenate restore. No, it doesn't say how much it actually restores. Yeah, if it's a super Rejuvenate, I'm guessing it's uh, it's a lot better than, than what it is. But anyways, Ice Terror resists. Okay, so yeah, he's got Super Rejuvenate, which restores Dragon Health over time. Uh, apparently, it's... 20% over 3 seconds, and then he has the Ice Terror Resist, which is, you know, it's pretty good. We're all, we're all gonna take that. We, we all love that. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I mean, I hope the Hunters come with, uh, you know, uh, we can actually look at them. We can look at the, the outskirt of what they look like, and they look pretty good, especially the Legendary. I've got to say, the Legendary looks better than the Mythic in this case. I mean, only from the outline, uh, the, the actual Legendary looks better than the... Uh, than the mythic and they will be out when they're coming out soon stay uh, okay yeah definitely will but as soon as they come out you know where to find them you can just go on my twitter page and there's probably gonna be a picture of them right there now i hope that covers it all guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and leave it a thumbs up if you did you can share it with anyone you want and as always guys take care and peace out <laughs>